So hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the BCC lens blur transition in Premiere Pro. Now of course you will need the BCC plugin so make sure you do have the BCC plugin installed and uh, if you do have it then let's start. So to get started you want to have your two clips ready and they need to be at least 15 frames long. Once you have done that you want to create an adjustment layer by right clicking over here. So just right click and then head over to new item and then adjustment layer and then select OK. Drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of the clips head to the center between the two clips and what you want to do is head left about eight frames so one two three four five six seven eight and do the same for the other side one two three four five six seven eight and now what you want to do is head over to the effects panel and search out bcc lens blur select the one that says bcc lens blur obs and just drag it onto your adjustment layer now head to the start and keyframe it to around zero also make sure to change the quality to something like sharper anyways next up you want to head between the two clips and now you want to keyframe it to something like 10 or 15. I'm going to do 10, head right to the end and then just one keyframe back and set it to zero. You also want to change the gamma over here to around 500 or if you want to you can change it to something higher such as 1000 but anyways this is how it should look like now. You can leave it as this if you want to, but if you want to make it a bit more effective, then all you need to do is now head back to the adjustment layer and then scroll down of the left side of iris scale. There should be this little arrow and all you want to do is just click it and this graph should appear. So firstly, what we're going to do is just head all the way to the beginning and you'll see this little thing down here. All you want to do is just pull it all the way to the left. So then it's easier for us to see what we are doing. Now head two keyframes forward and then click on the first one. This little like lever should appear and all you want to do is just click and drag it down make sure it's on the same level as the bar on the other side so you don't want it all the way down here you just want it like around here but also make sure that it touches the timeline bar or whatever it's called and now we're going to do the same thing for the other side but it's going to be flipped so head to the last keyframe and then just zoom in two keyframes ahead and then just pull it just like that right on the level and let go now hopefully you should get something that looks like this now if we play it back it's now a bit quicker than before, but if you want to, you can also go back to the last keyframe. In fact, before you do, you can expand the adjustment layer at the end. So let's say about one, two, three, four, four extra keyframes. So we're just going to expand it. And then we're going to drag the last keyframe all the way to the end. And it will look something like this. You can also do that if you want to. I think it makes it look a little bit more smoother. You can do one more thing to make it seem a bit more effective. If you head over to the second clip and then head over to Lumetri Color, set the exposure to something like two or three, head over to the effect controls and keyframe exposure, head about eight frames right and then keyframe it to zero and do the exact same thing with the graph as we did for the blur. So one, two, and I'm just gonna drag it all the way up and it will look something like this instead. But anyways, that is it for this tutorial. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you did find this helpful. If you did, then why not drop a like and also subscribe if you're new. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So yeah, peace.